All right, this is a quick review of my of the work that I've done on a hydroponic controller that is based on an Arduino Uno running the Tentacle Shield and four of the Atlas probes mounted, Atlas Scientific. And the probes are pH, conductivity, um, DO, and ORP. Uh, may not be in that order. But anyways, so on top of the tentacle shield is a simple patch board where I have all these wires connected into. And then on top of that is the four relays. Eventually I will install a Ethernet shield, memory permitting, and expand it out so that I can monitor it remotely. Um, each relay will be controlled by the signal from one of the sensors. Now the control software haven't been written yet and what I am demonstrating here is just the navigation of the menu which is done through this analog stick up, down, left, right. Now in the main menu which is where the program starts off with there's three items which you can see the total amount of items in the corner which is the bottom right hand I'll show you that total amount of items in the menu and which one is selected so values actually shows the current values of each probe mm -hmm. then we have control now control directly relates to how the relays will operate based on the signal from the probe signal I should say value from the probe so when we go into control we can select between the different probes right so we're going to go into pH and with pH you can see when you want the relay to turn on oops when you want to have it turn off the alarm alarm 2 the delay for the alarm and which relay will be controlled by this probe. Now modification of the value is actually done by actually going to the right with the joystick which increments ooh, sorry, my hand is shaking like hell headphone is heavy alright which um <laughs> sorry my old man that's what happens when you drink too much coffee and shakes either that or sleep deprivation <laughs> so when we go to the right you can see a number increment up in front of the menu this indicates which decimal point you will be adjusting and goes from second first then first number second number third four six blah 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 reset so if i go to one i can increment that two and so on and so on and so on and this can be done at any one of the of the parameters same can be said for all the others go back into pH and you can see it stores the other menu item is calibration so that if you want to read to check the calibration or calibrate the probes you will go into this menu again you select the probe and then you do which level of calibration you want um, I haven't done the coding for this just yet so this menu is kind of just there for show but no action um, up in the right hand corner you can see the actual probe reading and this is important for when you're calibrating so that you can see how the reading changes and how it compares to whichever standard you're using and that is the overview of the control system